Alright guys, let's take a look at how you upgrade the RAM and just what's inside there. Um, Lenovo is really generous about this in this aspect where um, it's just really dead simple how you do it. Uh, there's six screws. Um, there's just standard screws, like it's use any screwdriver basically and you can get it out of there real fast. What's really nice about this is the screws don't come out so you're not going to lose them. So you just take this panel off. Six screws, pops right out. Um, Let's take a look here. Um, just really quickly, how you install the RAM. I'm going to be putting a one gigabyte stick in here that I just had lying around, so I just figured why not put it in here. Uh, you have your hard drive. Um, if you want to replace that, you just pull up on this tab, and then it's in a bracket. So you unscrew the bracket and put your hard drive in the bracket. And it's just standard. And just how easy it you know, makes it. Um, just pull this out basically, and everything's there. You have a PCI Express port right here. Um, just, if you want to put it in there. It's already installed, you just plug it in, uh, the Bluetooth, wireless, right there, but if you want to install your RAM, let me get the RAM over here, it's a one gigabyte stick. What you do basically is you get a little closer for you, um, just put it in here, you line up the short side with the short side over here, and it comes with two, um, two slots, it comes with one four gigabyte stick already installed. So you put this in here like that, you line it up, and you just push down until it clicks. And if you want to get it out again, you just pull up on the tabs, it pops up. I want to keep it in there, so I just push it down. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. Lenovo says you can install your own rapid drive. They do have a rapid drive utility already installed, so that should be fairly easy. Um, to put this back in, just put it in this way first. So this is the front of the laptop right here. This is how you can open it from. If you put it in here, you lash that in, push down, and just screw these in. Um, just six six screws, and it's fairly fairly simple. Um, I'm gonna make sure everything is locked in, of course. I'll just screw this in really fast. Let's take a look at the hardware because I went over it before, but let's go over it one more time. It has Bluetooth 2.1. Wireless card, of course. So let's take a look at the front. So from here, you have your stereo microphone. So one microphone on the left, one microphone on the right. Your two megapixel camera, and this is a like a light to show you when the camera's on. You have these nice rubber things. These don't feel like they're gonna fall off. I know for some laptops, it feels like they're gonna fall off and you lose them, <laughs> and that's not that's not fun. Um, there's really nothing else to it. There's two magnets over here, one over here, one over here that helps with um, you know, sensing when it's closed and also just having a nice nice snap to it when it does close. So I really like how firm the hinges are. Like you can open it with one hand without the bottom coming up. With some laptops, the bottom comes up when you try to open the lid. Uh, Hardware-wise, there is a little there's a little quirk right here. I think this might just be mine, but there's a little bump. Over here, over here, when I actually when I got, it, I didn't notice at first, but it was unlatched a little bit. The, the key base, and you can see this plastic right here, this gray plastic behind the keys. But over here, it feels like it's unlatched, but it's not actually pressing back down. Um, here you have your left JBL speaker, your power button, your one key restore. Uh, you have two here that light up. There's not, actually three, three little lights under here. It's not buttons or anything. Not even capacitive buttons, but basically it gives you your uh, alpha lock, your caps lock, your number lock, and your uh, hard hard drive uh, usage. I think it would be nice to have the hard drive usage on the bottom, like so you could actually see it when the lid was closed, but eh, it's fine. Um, over here you have your mute, your volume down, volume up, uh, your one-touch theater. I've been having a little bit of trouble with that, but I'll get into that later in my full review. Um, and you also have your, your, uh, what's this? <laughs> you also have your, so you have your one-touch theater, and this is a little moon. I swear I know this, but this, is, I'll get back to it. You're right, you're right, JBL speaker. Um, on the bottom over here, you have a couple of indicator lights. This one shows you if your screen, I don't know if you can see that. This one shows you if your screen is on or off, so, like, if you have a black um, black screen, you're not wondering, oh no, I accidentally pressed the function that turned it off or on. Um, here you have power indicator, battery indicator, power indicator, battery indicator. Um, battery indicator, I'm, I don't think it changes if the 
power is full. So you have, you have to turn it on to see if the power is full or not. Um, and then you have your wireless wireless indicator. Over here you have your optimist switch, and that's not actually a switch. It's more like a flick. So you flick it, and then the LED comes up right here, a white LED, and it shines. If it's on optimist, you switch again, to turn it off. And you can also have your um, wireless wireless little switch right here to turn your wireless on and off. One thing about here is that the shift key feels a little squish to me. Um, the spacebar key, I'm getting used to it, but it feels a lot more shallow um, than the other ones. Uh, just a couple other things. Sometimes this lid creaks when I open it, like it'll pop. I don't know if you could hear that. I'll do it one more time. Feel that pop? Um, that's been happening. So I don't know if it's like something clicking in the hinge, but. Other than that, it's pretty good. There's a little bit of looseness over here when I when I can squeeze it and it comes back up. Otherwise, that's fine. Um, let's take a look at the ports. You have your VGA, uh, VGA, HDMI, vent, NAN, eSATA, USB, USB. Your two inputs. With me when your headphones are in, you hear quite a bit of static. Um, not static, but a lot, quite a bit of noise when you're not playing stuff. To USB 3.0, your DVD writer and reader, your power, and then your um, Kensington line. But on the back, there's nothing. On the front, you have your 6 in 1 media card reader right here. And that just pops out in it. So, yeah, that's, that's basically it for the hardware. Why don't we just power this on really fast? Um, you see everything lights up, you see your hard, hard drive is going, um, all these buttons light up. So startup time is about 50 seconds. It stays about 50 seconds without your rapid drive. Of course, you can go out and purchase your own rapid drive. Um, it has its own startup optimization that it runs. What else? Uh, battery life. Battery life has been pretty good. Been getting four hours and 45 minutes doing just normal tasks on on the um, power saver though. So basically. The, with the Optimus and your graphics card on, let me show you really fast what that looks like. You see that? It pops on, and then you can turn it off. How could it's turning up, but there you go. Turn it off. Um, basically, with that on, you only get about two hours of battery life. I've been having some problems with the benchmarks where it's not scoring as high as it. I feel like it should be. Um, and I'm not sure why. I think it might be so you can see the... That's the thermal management. Fan runs really, really um, quietly, and it's really effective too. Your theater gives you surround sound, and it changes the setting of the screen a little bit to make it a little bit clearer. So yeah, that's basically all I have to say for now. Um, that's how you install your RAM. That's how you replace your hard drive. Uh, those are the hardware, basically the hardware components of this laptop. It's a very solid build. About six pounds. Um, I said 8.5 pounds before. I'm sorry about that because I was just too excited. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll be looking into this more. Have some benchmarks up soon, hopefully, once I get everything installed and figure out figure out the settings. So yeah, um, stay tuned for more videos and thanks for watching.